everyone, and welcome to Toy Break, episode 360. I'm Aileen the Human. I'm Sarah Jo the Human. I'm George the Human. <laughs> we are not hut. We are not hut. Might be slug, though. <laughs> not Jedi. <laughs> Continue. So in case you're wondering, what are we talking about? That's a very good question. We wonder the same thing. But what we're doing here is Toy Break, which is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about the wonderful world of toys, including but never limited to designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, Comic-Con exclusives. Countdown to Comic-Con. Countdown to Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we can bring you in the wonderful world of toys. Let's start, as we always do, by thanking our site sponsors like DKE Toys. Three Coconut Monkey. Modern Brick. Warfare. 3D Retro. <laughs> Tomonosuke. It's a bourbon vinyl. Yay, thank you to all of them. You can click on their links at toybreak.com. George. Yes, Aileen. <laughs> the human. <laughs> is there anything going on, I don't know, contest-wise? Yes, there is, Aileen. Tell us about it, please. Uh, we have a deadbeat, baby deadbeat custom contest going on. I think we have four now in the contest. Yeah. So there's going to be four winners and these are provided by Lucifer, three of them by Lucifer, and one by Dropcag. Yay! And they customize some deadbeats, so you can have them. So all you have to do cool. is post a picture of your deadbeat collection on the forum at toybreak.com in the contest section by July 13th. Perfect. Let's get into, well, let's get into the meat of it. The meat of it? Is that what we're getting into? The meat into? of it. The human meat of it. Okay. This human is the meat. countdown to Ooh, Comic Con. Delicious. Countdown to Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> so as you may know from watching previous episodes we're not going to run down lists of everything this year we're just going to pick out a few things to bring you and of course if we have artists or producers on with their specials that's what we're focusing on this year <laughs> and moose sven the moose uh so that's what we're trying to do instead of just reading off you know every exclusive that's coming out this year which you can get at places like awesometoyblog.com and sdccblog.com but there was one thing no before, selfie sticks don't bump my selfie stick. Don't bring them. They're banned. That's true. No selfie stick. I saw it on Comic Con's news. Okay. That's a thing. I don't have one. <laughs> Good. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, there was one thing you wanted to talk about. I did. It was the... Remember the dwarves? 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 That we've had on the show before? Okay? On previous Comic Cons past? <laughs> uh, well, there's a dwarves statue, six inch statue, coming from Height Fly Studio Company Limited. Right? Yeah, that that's right? what it says. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be seventy dollars at the small press table N four, N fourteen, which N14. is near N four. Well, go see what's at N four. Maybe it's cool. Yeah. N fourteen though will be the Height Fly Studio Company Limited, seventy dollar Dwyer's six inch statue. And you've shared that art book previously. Yeah, we had the art book on. I think we had a custom one last mm -hmm. year, the year before. Um, the comic was out, and there are also Facebook stickers. Ah. You can use them on Facebook World to send famous. little things to your friends. Oh. And maybe if you're at the booth, you could also find out how you're supposed to say that. Word. I think it's ah. dwarves. 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 He says he's sure, but I don't think he's sure, so I'm <laughs> check. Go to table N4 and ask them how to say N14. it. N14. 14. Why can't I say 4? Well, I don't know. Good thing it's like, I'm going to take over the episode. You don't have to say anything Let's very just do soon. that. Let's, Let's just go. get right into Let's, you taking over. Let's just go. Because I'm right. screwing it up. So before we get into all the Comic-Con exclusives that are coming up from Sarah Jo here, who is representing DKE Toys. Huzzah! Uh, we also have some blind boxes to get to, but really quick before that, uh, an announcement went out recently about a transitional period oh, that's DKE? happening at DKE. Yeah, so DKE, as of first quarter next year, is going to uh, cease consignment-based distribution. Um, but we'll continue to do other things. Right. Um, as we have over the years. Um, we'll, we'll still be making things. Yeah, we'll be making things. And we'll certainly, Art shows. Yeah, you know, I don't need to answer the question at all because <laughs> you guys pretty much got it covered. Um, but DKE is not going out of business. We are just evolving changing and really refocusing what we're doing and That's exciting um yeah we're both really excited about it dove and i because um it's time to make this little move you know when we got into the art toy scene we were really really passionate about everything we were doing mm -hmm. and over the years things have 
changed, moved around, and... Well, and your lives changed, moved sure. around. Sure. You know, and things. we lost a little bit of what we thought was magical mm -hmm. about the scene. And we're... Bringing it back. Exactly. That's the plan. That's Do awesome. more art shows. Get, get our books going. Mm -hmm. And... Um, just refocus, refocus our energy. And as we've been saying, have more fun. Yay! I'm all for more fun. So I'm very excited just to make sure that everybody knows DK is not going away. No. By any means. Certainly not. So that's exciting news. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. Yay. Confirmed. Confirmed. All right, so before the Comic-Con exclusives, let's mm. get a little blind box going. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! All right. What you got? We got three different blind boxes today. Oh, well, weird. That's extremely So which strange. one would you like to do? There is a Despicable Me, there is a Simpsons, and there is a Ninja Turtles. I don't care. You guys pick. Oh, come on. I'm, you, what you want? I'll do the Simpsons. Perfect. I'll do Despicable Me. Unless you want to I will it. choose a Ninja Turtle. Okay. Uh, mine is Ninja Turtles by Loyal Subjects. These are the action vinyls. I need the scissors. Mine has the sticker. I have a mystery mini, so it's from Funko, Despicable Me. And I really want the unicorn. Oh, you know what you want. I do. I got the Simpsons, Kid Robot, 25-year keychain. Woohoo, it says. <laughs> Very cute logo with uh, Homer here. What do you want there? Oh, let's see. What, what do we got? Well, there's a Raspberry Squishy. The skateboard looks cool. So many things. I don't know. I like the skateboard. And I like the couch. Then if you got the couch, you could kind of do your own couch gag. Ooh. That'd be awesome. Did you pick what you wanted, George? I don't remember who we already have in this line. If I have you the just four pick a random regular person. turtles. If like. not, I want Donatello. Okay, well, mine's cool it's just on its own. I got the... Blinky! Yeah, the three-eyed fish. The mutant fish. And, you know, for a zippy, hangy on thing, it's big. It is big. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. I mean, what else oh. are you going to say about it? It's a Blinky. I, I didn't got, know it had a name, but apparently it do. I got Shredder. I, I watched oh, Simpsons. You got a lot. you. I got. <laughs> ah. Or me. Any of us. It's us. It's a toy girl. And Samuel would say, Mommy? <laughs> Ooh. Mommy smells um, bad. Uh, she's airing out. She's got cute glasses. I totally forgot what you had. Is that uh, from Despicable, Despicable Me? I didn't see either of them, but I know they have little yellow things that people Isn't seem there kids to in like. It? Yeah, but who pays attention to the kids? Little yellow things that people seem to like. Is that a boy? Oh, maybe. No, it's definitely got a ponytail. Oh, I mean, not the boys. Skirt. Skirt. Boys don't have ponytails? That's racist. That It was racist. <laughs> Who'd what you are get? you? Shredder! Alright. The cool thing about That's Shredder is he comes with these awesome throwing stars. Throwing stars are the best? Look at that. Those are cool. Yeah. I like the throwing stars. Oh! See? Throw well, that's it. gone forever. I caught it in the box. It's a good thing you opened that toy. All right. Well, what's the name of this thing? Do you even know? No, I have no information. Kid three. Kid, from Despicable Me. Older girl. <laughs> not the cute one. At least it's not Gru. Just said it looked like both of us. But then you have little Ben. <laughs> no, that's I funny. mean, the, wow. Okay, all right. Well, uh, right I'm just gonna keep right. my all mouth right. shut for the rest of this episode. Moving on. <laughs> Doing the DKE stuff. The DKE stuff! It's like it's a tradition. It kind of is. I wonder how many years we've done this for Comic-Con. Somebody should tell us in the show notes. <laughs> in the show <laughs> thing, uh, comments. So anyway, DKE is back at Comic-Con again. Uh, booth 5045. We have a whole slew of exclusive. I can't wait. Exclusives. I can't wait. Um, oh. And these are in alphabetical order by the name of the figure. So okay, that's the order I put them in. Um, so we're going to start with the Art Trooper series. It's Warhol, Andy Warhol, oh, by wow. Rika. It's an edition of 50. Whoa. It's uh, $55. It's from UK artist Ryan Callahan. He has cast each one of these himself and hand printed the figures. It, it looks like a multiple, multiple color silk screened card back 
Rika has been using Star Wars themes in his work for years in his art shows in the UK and most recently here in California at Copro Nason Gallery. But this is the first time that he has made an addition for sale outside of one of his gallery shows. Oh. This is also the first in a series of Trooper, in the Trooper garb. The other artists like Basquiat, Keith Haring, and Picasso are to follow. It is three and three quarter inches tall. Ta-da! Yeah. Ta-da forever. I love that card back. It's really well done, isn't it's it? It's really well done. Yeah, the card's really nice. It's a nice thick stock. I like this little cutout. The whole thing is cut nice. Yeah. I, I can't believe this is the first time outside of a show. Yeah. That's amazing. You don't see people doing little die cut pieces like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty unique. It's pretty sweet. I like it. I'm into it. They like it, they're into it, and they're quiet. Andy Warhol <laughs> is a stormtrooper. I like it. There you go. What else is there to say? I don't know. <laughs> the next one is this one Bad Whoa. Acid by Manny X. For Iconoclast Toys, it's an edition of 20 and is $55. It is hand cast and hand painted by Manny X and his new brand, Iconoclast Toys. There are lots of variations in the color in the whole run. Um, we're pretty sure that it was a multiple color resin pour, which apparently is very difficult to do. Um, this is a follow-up to his Black Bart figure. Black Bart figure, which was inspired by the bootleg Bart on Instagram. Um, bootleg Bart has hundreds and hundreds of posts on Instagram, each with a unique bootleg Bart Simpson shirt. Um, it's amazing stuff, but it doesn't appear to be an official collaboration where the first release, we think, is an official collaboration Got it. with bootleg Bart. Um, in any event, the design is spot on. The card back is based on the original 80s Mattel Simpsons line. The figure is to scale as well at three and three three and a half inches and it comes with a tab of acid yeah uh, not for kids so it says with bad acid with lickably trippy stamps i don't know it says it comes with i'm a tab not of putting acid. in my mouth <laughs> no, i it, wouldn't it also says not to be taken out of package and posed not a toy yeah all that stuff so but is maybe there really we're just not supposed to know I, about the i don't acid. think so i mean let's try it we're not drug dealers <laughs> let's try it doesn't Can I mention something about this one that's yeah. different than a lot of toys that we've seen sure. come out? Sure. What do you um, see? Well, notice how he sits on the cardstock. Yeah. The figure is drafted back, yeah. and it's actually poured flat on the back. It's not a full figure. That's so crazy. That's what I like thought. Like some people do. It's just a different way to. It's just a different way to do things. But it does make it sit nicely in the package. It looks great in the package. Because it fits. It sits flat on the back because it's not an actual action figure back there. No, this is the piece. That's the piece of art. Yeah, it's in different. It's just different than some people do. I've yeah. never seen anybody do that hey, before. Hey, I saw you reach across the table and grab it. You must have been looking at it from the side. Yeah. You got excited. Yeah. It's interesting. It's different. How about Bart? Uh, let's move along. All right, yeah. move along. <laughs> bad mood. Because we got bad acid. Might as well also have a bad mood. This is Bad Mood by Broke One and AWOL One. It is an edition of 20. It is $65. It is a hand cast figure. And this is a partnership between Broke One, aka Broken Pigeon, aka Brody, if you're on the inside track. This is a collaboration with AWOL One, who also did the card back illustration. Mood is doom. Backwards. Get it? Oh. Um, three and three quarter inches tall, handmade resin in custom packaging. Well, I am a Dr. Doom fan. And he's strangling MF Doom. Oh. Bad mood. Get I it? get it. And I'm a sucker for translucent figures, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. And it comes in a nice clamshell, so you could open and reclose it. And he has a cape on. And he has a cape on. In case you want to play with it. <laughs> if you want to do vinyl cape. <laughs> it's a vinyl cape. Bad mood. Nice. It looks very glowy almost. Well, we know what these are. Oh my, George. Bunny with our back. Bunny with... Clear pink set by Alex Pardee, sculpted by this guy, George Gaspar. Set of original five series one Bunny With and the exclusive Bunny With Affinity for Slave Women, which is the big job of the hut mm -hmm. uh, Bunny With. It's bagged with header card, as you see. Only 100 made. 20 bucks for the set from Alex Pardee and sculpted by George. Fantastic. I love this color. The color's really cool. We it's need like glowing. Things. It's gorgeous. We gotta run this color. Yeah, we do. The We're fans. Good color. Did you guys see the pictures of Dester Commando? I did. 
I, I don't know what that is. There's three of them. Yeah, I'm just going to pull it so George can look at them. Oh, you can scroll this way and see Oh, all yeah, three. I did see the picture of this. Um, this is the Dester Commando by Starcase. This is, Dove really loves these figures. I didn't actually know because I guess he was hoarding them at DKE. Yeah. Um, but according to the show notes, mm -hmm. and he's never been wrong. collecting all of the Starcase figures from Japan over the past few years. Oh, yeah, he's been getting all of them. Um, so he's stoked because we have three for Comic-Con, and it's each one is an addition of 25 and they're $85. And we don't have them here. It's one of the few things we don't have here today, but mm -hmm. um, we'll, I'm sure you're seeing the pictures right now magically mm -hmm. as George is looking at them on my phone. <laughs> um, this is, he, Dove says this is a big deal. He says... Um, the characters are also Fubi versions of bootleg Japanese Star Wars model kits from the 80s. This one happens to be the Stormtrooper sculpt, repainted to somewhat resemble three superheroes which shall remain nameless. They are six inches each and come bagged with header card, and each has some extra pe heads hand-painted. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> wow Wowee. They actually look fun. I like the, the way they're painted. Speaking of wow... Speaking oh, of wow. oh, it's here. I can see it in oh my, my face. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Um, this is the Django Uncloned Heirloom Edition by Good For You Toys and Robin Van Valkenburg. Um, so last year, Good For You released their Django Fett figure, which of course is a mashup of everyone's favorite Star Wars character and the hero from Django Unchained. Um, DKE completely sold out around the second day of Comic-Con last year. Fantastic. And um, this year, they Good For You collaborated with Robin, Robin Van Valkenburg, and did a mashup with her Western-themed figure, the Bunslinger. <laughs> she made these each by hand. They're all ceramic. They're 16 inches tall. They're hand-painted. There's only 20, and they're $110 each. Listen, that came out beautifully. Is insane. Yeah. How much are they? 110. This thing's huge. It's yeah. enormous. I mean, this is a real art and figure. ceramic, like... It's huge, you guys. You know, yeah. I'm crazy about ceramics. Um, you know, first time I saw Robin stuff was in a window in Chinatown. I remember you telling us about it. Yeah, we were just... We were there looking at some other art show, and I saw it in the window at some funky store, and I was like, what is that? And I took a picture of the bottom of the thing of the statue and we googled her and became friendly with her and found her and and here this is and here this is this kind of incredible collaboration of a it's kind of collaboration amazing. of a mashup of a mashup <laughs> where do we put it's this? amazing put this over here it's weird because you read 16 inches and then you're like wow that's so much bigger in person yeah look it's almost as tall as george <laughs> so here we go this <gasps> is freddy fett it's an addition of 30. It's $65. It's a mashup of Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger, and you know who. What do you think? It is hand cast and painted three and three quarter carded style figure by Credenda Studios. George, you happen to love Nightmare on Elm Street, and I think you like Boba Fett. This is, this is the thing. This the is card art's amazing. Like, I think the card looks fantastic. This is the thing, he says. Kitty's 18 and up, nice. But Dove says it's uh, one of the more inspired figures we're offering this year, and the card back is amazing. I agree. This one should sell out opening night. Casting and paint detail is top notch. Yeah, I mean, there is a lot of paint going on on this. Dove says, back when the Suck Lord started, this whole resin thing, the joke was, and he is the first to admit this even print on his packaging, that the quality of his casting and painting were, at times, not that good. <laughs> what is interesting at the, is that this whole second generation that were inspired by him, at least technically, some of these guys have surpassed him in quality. Not necessarily in content or artistry, as they are all second to him in that regard, <laughs> but technically, <laughs> some of these are amazing. This is a quote from Suck Lord? Is that this is a quote from Dove. Dove. <laughs> okay. It's from the Dove Lord. The archivist. Deal with it. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. And how many of these were there again? Like 20? Uh, 30. 30. They're okay, six, great. They're $65. There's 30 are, of them. Those are going to sell out. I think you guys will enjoy this figure. Key. I, oh, wow. I have been enjoying it, and it's been getting um, 
Excellent attention on the old interweb since we posted oh. it a couple days ago. This is I Find Your Lack of Faith Disturbing by <laughs> Special Ed Toys. It is an edition of 20 and it's $45. It is a customized three and three quarter actionless figure. From the apocalyptic registration lines of Hall A through the never ending clusterfuck of Hall H, we march. We will wear our badges proudly and mock those who oppose us. We will raise our signs high and protest the protesters in the name of the Father, the Force, and the Holy Trilogy, Darth 316. <laughs> For those of you fortunate enough to be able to go to Comic-Con and other large conventions, you might see these Jesus-y protesters who hate Harry Potter and science fiction and feel that we are all sinners for collecting toys. More recently, there have been some cosplayers who show up to protest the protesters, and this figure is to honor those folks with the sweaty balls under those stormtrooper costumes standing up to make those protesters. Good job, Special Ed, for making this. I think it's an actual Hasbro Trooper customized. Even has a glass coat to make it more Stormtrooper-like. Storm Probably wonder how he tracked down 20 of the same figure. <laughs> Probably does. Yeah, that would make sense. I like there's one tiny little line on the back. It's really funny. Tell us. If you intend to purchase this for your nephew's birthday, it will break and you will cry. <laughs> this, you guys have had a lot of amazing exclusives over the years at DKE. And you have several amazing exclusives this year, too. Thank you. I think this is one of the best because it's so focused on, like, this is a thing from Comic-Con, at Comic-Con, just encapsulating this Our weird experience. phenomenon and experience at Comic-Con. It makes a lot of sense, really. So much sense. Like, so much sense. I love this. I just love the idea of this. And I love that it's happening. I think those <laughs> will be gone. I mean, it's only an edition of 20. It's only $45. All right. Here's so are they going to make the Ewok on the back? Well, I don't know. We'll have to That's ask Special Ed. That's the question. Eduardo Especial. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. How's a butt in your face? How about that? Yeah. Plunkety, that plunkety plunk plunk. This is called Kiss My Ass by David Flores and Hellfire Canyon Club and Black Book Toy. Uh, it's an edition of 25 and it is $150. It's nine inches tall. It's Japanese vinyl. But really, if he was standing up and not bent over, it would be 18 inches tall. I <laughs> see. Doubled over. Super amazing deal for $150 for Japanese Sofubi. Based on Dave, Flore Dave Flores' Death Head Mickey. And there's some articulation, too. That's, that's weird to hold it that way. That. Yeah, that's cool. And then you can put more toys on top of it. Well, you need room for more toys around here. <laughs> you, put it, you get well, like a little thing to put here. You stand them in that, and then you put a piece of glass up here, and it becomes a little table. Oh, cute! Well, there are, are 25 of these, so if um, all the people that buy this get together, call George, and he'll cast the right thing <laughs> and make it for you for, I don't know, $15. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Are you in? I'm in. Oh, look at that. Oh, the ears are articulated. That's awesome! The ears and the feet. The ears look so creepy like that. That is weird. What do you think of the color? It, it's kind of weird because a lot of the detail gets lost in a solid black figure. But Mickey Mouse is black. Yeah. So. And then all those kid robot toys that are all black. I think people yeah. have a lot of black stuff and it just plays well together. I think I think you're right on that. I wonder if they'll do other colors of this in the future. Probably. I'd love to see like a bone or a white colored one. That's usually how this stuff plays yeah. out. The black is gorgeous, though. I mean, it's nice and shiny. I was going to say, I can see myself. <laughs> I like, see I got buzzing. something in my tooth. <laughs> it's cool, though. I like the way it sits. It's got a really unique pose. Well, George just took it, so that's a good uh, Well, sign. I thought we were moving on to the next thing. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Ooh. This is Lieutenant Princess Uhura from Junkfed's Space Madness figure. Is it not Uhura? I yeah, never watched Star Trek. Uhura. Oh, okay. That's right. I thought you laughed because I... No, I'm laughing, oh, laughing at the figure. figure. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> They're laughing at the figure, so that's good. Um, it's a three and three quarter carded figure. It mashes up Princess Leia and Lieutenant Uhura. Duh. Um, again, perfectly executed. Thanks, Duh. If you already have this Spock Trooper or the other figures in this line, this is a must have. If not, you should check out Junk Fed's site and get yourself some. Only 30 made, $55. Beautiful. As you may know, we are, of course, fans of Space Madness. Just had the coloring book on. 
Oh, it's a sweet. couple weeks ago. Love, love, love the coloring book. I love coloring books. I mean, you love coloring books in general, and then it's extra funny because it's space madness. And I mean, the, the mashups are just hilarious. So, I wouldn't have ever thought to put those together. I like it. I know. I guess has anyone done that? I don't know. I've never seen that. I never thought about it. Either. Mashed up. But you know, it's cool. She looks cute. Yeah. Cute. And that's gonna make a really great set. What do you think, George? Spork. <laughs> George be laughing. So here we have... But wait, there's more. Oh! This. Two things. Like, why is that here? Um, well, this is, is the here? inspiration. Yeah. Ah. This is uh, this year's Lucky figure. So last year we had the Bones resin figures on hand-painted backer cards. And this year... Oh, and last year we had Star Wars. Anyway, this year we have Lucky on the Power of the Force card. So this is a Star Wars figure. This is just a Star Wars figure. It's not special. It doesn't come with it. Obi-Wan, it doesn't come whatever. with it. We're just it's, showing you the we're colors. We're just showing you that Old this ben packaging Kenobi. is based on this packaging. Just a Star Wars figure. Don't get distracted by it. Um, I know it's distracting having a Star Wars figure here. Sorry. We'll just um, move it down here. Anyway. <laughs> So this year we have Lucky on the Power of the Force inspired card. It's a hand cast resin figure by Garrett Ziegler from Blockhead Toys. The card back is hand painted by Mike Egan. So the card back is like, oh, is your painting. Um, and something about George. Yeah, George. Oh, what George. George sculpted the wings so they fit in the blister. He did. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. The sample <laughs> here is not a final. This is a, a sample. But the final figures will be about four inches tall, like the same um, to scale with the bones from last year. Oh, nice. I just love the idea that the back is an original painting. I love that too. I loved it the last time. I love it this time. The inspiration from the original figures is awesome. Like, that's great. It's great. It's great. Okay. Great. Don't you think that's cool to get an original piece of art? As yeah, it the is back? nice. Like, that's cool. It's what nice the hell is this? <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm sorry. This is Mr. TMNT. <laughs> it's an edition of 25. It's $55. It's from the deranged mind of Dead Greedy. Uh, this is a five and a half inch hand cast, hand painted resin action figure that most obviously matches up Mr. T and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I pit it foot! <laughs> Doug told me I had to say it like that, so that's for you honey <laughs> i will not be happening again feel free to rewind it and watch it at your leisure only one time <laughs> that was very specific that is exactly what this is it is mr teenage mutant is this mr dead greedy it is indeed <laughs> i like that he put himself on there I, know, really I thought it was funny no yeah. one's done that <laughs> i said the same thing i was like is that him dev said yeah that's him that's pretty kind funny. of love that that's a, it's completely mashed up. I don't know how you thought to mash this up. <laughs> Packaging's funny. I've seen these online. He's funny. Have, what do you think of the figure? It's funny. It's, I pity the foot. Mm -hmm. That's funny. It's one letter different. George is not amused by anything. <laughs> oh, George. Oh, Pimp 2D2, what do we got here? Oh. Oh, it's a big All box. All right, we got a box. It's Pimp 2D2's Big Score Pimp Speeder with Chauffeur by Manly Art. Be sure and show everything. Yes. Um, it's an edition of 30. Oh, my gosh, I haven't seen one in person. <laughs> <laughs> and it is $200. It is a customized speeder with a hand-painted figure, Pimp 2D2, not included. You had to have gotten your Pimp 2D2. Comes with before. decals. Comes with decals. To pimp out your ride. Right? Uh, it's Yo new. Dog. Do you want me to read the thing? It's funny. And then there's yeah, a girl. Yeah, let's get Please. George going because okay. he's excited. So we got a little There's, a, there's a gun in here too. I'm just, I'm just not She's the chauffeur. It out. Okay. Oh, do we need instructions? I don't know. I'm not going to put it in because I don't want to like bend uh, it around. <clears throat> This exclusive DKE Toys release features a slick purple paint job with custom orange tinted windscreen, custom seats, and three different hood design decals for you to choose from. Now, Pimp 2D2 can float along in style with his personal chauffeur on the Pimp Speeder's Pimp Glide suspension on his never-ending quest to make the galaxy fly as can be. There's even a compartment for storing pimp canes, pimp hat, weapons, and anything else a pimp and droid might need. R2D2 not figure not included. 
but it does come with exclusive chauffeur figure. If you got your C3P Ho figure or Pimp 2D2, then you gotta have this one. The catch is, there are only 30 of them, and they each use a vintage Star Wars land speeder from 1977. <laughs> Wonder where he scored all the land speeders. Hashtag deal with Doug. <laughs> Show instructions and sticker sheet. All right, so instructions, sticker the sheet. The sticker sheet's pretty amazing. Like, look at the hood decals you can get for that. <laughs> and then there's one you can put, I guess that probably opens still, and you can put yeah. this inside to make it look like they're storing all their stuff. Oh, that's funny. There's little Playboy, robot Playboys in there and little, stuff. Little porn in there. That's pretty funny. These are pretty awesome stickers. A Minoc Firebird sticker. That's awesome. That's like, that's greatest. all icing on the cake, because, I mean, purple land speeder. Hero. Hero, indeed. How about the figure? And it comes with the figure. Don't forget that. So two hundred dollars, but you get a figure. Well, it's a figure. You get a nineteen seventy seven customized vehicle. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of, kind crazy, of amazing. Right? And I mean, manly art always does funny things. And if you have a Pim two D two, you need this. You kind of need this, right? And he wrote that description. Pico. It's pretty great. Like, if you're already on the train, the Pim two D two train. You mean the land speeder? <laughs> the Pimp 2D2 lands reader. I don't know this. if there's a train in Padawan or wherever that goes. Tatooine. <laughs> Whatever. Most Eisley. You think I know about Star Wars? Star what is a Star Wars? <laughs> what is a, What is it? What? A hut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What's a job the hut? Job the hut. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's Sun. awesome, and we love that. Look how big the box is. What's this? Oh, that's so good. Ooh. This is Return of the Tar Martian by Falcon Toys. That's racist. Hand cast and painted three and three quarter carded figure. This is the one we've gotten the most calls about and Falcon Toys knocked it out of the park on this one. Based loosely on Mars Attacks Alien, Falcon Toys has mashed this one up with expert detail. Only 15 made. It's only edition of 15. It's $85. Love the brain in the hand. You know what they say about a brain in the hand? It's worth two in the bush. I guess. Uh, brains? Two hands in the brains. Bush. Two hands? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come in pieces. I actually really like this. Man, there's only 15 of these? Yeah. Limited. Limited. Come opening day. It's beautiful. It's well done. So do you guys just like sell so it stuff. and then as soon as it's gone, it's gone? Yep. No holding them for like, I only got a ticket for Sunday. Sorry. Come early. Come early. Come we often. Cannot do. Oh my gosh. We gotta sell this stuff. Is this a in conjunction with the first one? No, it's not. What? It's just funny that we have two Andy Warhol themed things this year. Um, this is Star Warhol by Killer Bootlegs. Superstar Resin King Killer Bootlegs has come up with this hand cast and painted three inch figure. Yes, this is the second Andy Warhol inspired figure in our lineup. Apparently, great minds do think alike. <laughs> Only 50 made, $75. But it is funny because when we had the Vader it's project heavy. at yeah. uh, the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh, yeah. on the big thing, um, they Andy n never made any Star Wars art, but they did find a quote by him. Do you want me to read the quote? I, I do want it. I would this. love to hear it. All right. I would love to hear it. I'd this. love to hear it. I got a quote, what Andy said. It's kind of funny. He says, I'm surprised that the Star Wars movie company didn't actually franchise discotheques of Star Wars all over the country. But then, now that I'm thinking about it, things like that never work. It's usually just one person who stands around screaming that makes a success out of a club. Thanks, Andy. That was from his diary. He's right. I mean, if they did Can't make a Star Wars that. club, I mean, that's kind of what Comic-Con is. I'd be there. I want to take one of those Star Wars Disney cruises just so I can drink it most easily. Like, I'll weird. go with you. Yeah, leaving the boys at home. Bye. <laughs> oh, we left home. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we need George to take care of Samuel. Uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but you're on nanny duty. <laughs> I guess it was only a matter of time before this was made. I know. How was that never made before? I kind of really love it. It's awesome. Like the way, you know, the legs with the red and white just perfectly match the can. I don't know. The whole aesthetic of it is really nice and it's heavy. It's resin. I like it. And it's in a short package. And that, for some reason, is very attractive to me. Because you, less is more. Less is more. Sometimes you don't need a big, dumb, stupid thing. Just a little stupid thing. A little thing. stupid thing. <laughs> don't listen. It's 
Speaking of little stupid things, oh my god, you guys, the next thing is so stupid. Are you allowed to say that? Yeah, because I, I'm, I'm in charge <laughs> of it. I'm in, I mean, it's stupid, but it's awesome. It's a suckle rejects. We had suckle rejects last year. Um, the suckler took the yet to be released series two suckle and mashed them up for a second series of rejects. There are four in this set, bagged with a header card. The ones in our hands here are not the final flesh color, but the ones at the show will match last year's. A hundred sets made, each hand cast in resin by Garrett Ziegler from Blockheads Toys. Thirty dollars for a set of four. He made a hundred sets of these. Oh, that's a lot of casting. Yeah. How, there's a hundred? Is that what you said? hundred yeah. sets, yeah. I did not But look how that. funny. He has Carator for a head. <laughs> <laughs> Come it's on. So ridiculous. Carator for a head, you guys. That's funny. So if you guys are collecting Suckle, like, this is a super cool addition to the line. Yeah, well, obviously, if you're collecting Suckle, you have to get them. You, you have to have this. Duh. And then you'll also want the next thing. But Two. wait, there's more? Oh, yeah, because we have Attackers of the Missing Stuff. Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So one of the Suck Lord's earliest figures, which we commonly refer to as the pink Tot figure from Raiders, mm -hmm. it was inspired by a Marvel Raiders comic where Tot was colored pink. This fits the Suck Lord's aesthetic, so he made the figure, but we have the original figure here to show you. Oh, yeah. Haha. -ha. We have, the, this is not an exclusive. This is just the original one that um, the Suck Lord made, of course, from the archive. Um, the purpose of the Suckle line is to recreate all of the Sucklord's work in the muscle format. But the problem is, is that if we, if we made this figure in China in the regular colors and all the exclusives, then it's just a colored top figure, which really only works if it's pink. So this release had to be in resin and limited to a hundred. Ta-da. Ta-da. And $30. But you also get a flesh version with it because oh. we had to. So you get it together. Yeah. Comes oh, with nice. it. Oh, nice. That's very cool. And this is totally like you even recreated the package. Yep. With the comic on the back. and There's 100 30. pieces and it's $30 and you get For both. Seth. You get both. Wow. But not that. Right. No. This that's is just, to show you that this is that's this. That's the, exactly. the, the beginning this is of this. that. So wait, where's the part where he's pink on the package? Look at the front. Pink. Oh, he's pink on there. I was like, he's not pink back here. He looks regular. It's pink. I gotcha. He's pink on the front. See? Pink. 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 I went to the opening, that opening. Nick the Ring curated that show. Did he? It was at a sneaker store on Melrose. Oh, that's funny. This is a, a really good job of matching that color. Are you like, joking? No. Oh, okay. That's like that's a that's a really good job of matching the flesh color. Like the uh, it's nice. Good. I'm complimenting it. I know okay. it, I know it sounds like I'm an asshole, it, but I'm not. It's your use checking. <laughs> need to double check sometimes sometimes we don't know what george is thinking like wait what this is cool look at how thin his cape is too that's so you cool. can see through it i know i like that he's cute i'm guessing this is not the final color sample no correct as these are not that's not right. final not final because everything has to happen at the last minute this comic con's a week away comic con so. moved up two weeks it's not our fault uh, um um we're going to have something from Kill, mm -hmm. but of course we don't know what it is. We have no pictures and we know nothing. So thanks, Kill. Please send that. It's pony related. It's pony related. Well, we don't even know. Oh, okay. It, well, it doesn't say. It's Maybe pony related. Know. It's pony it's related. It's the third in the line or the fourth? Third or fourth? Third? Third, okay. I well, think, in the line? Whenever they make it, then we can uh, announce it. They're called jabronis, right? Yeah. Like that's yeah. The line. So it's from that. Okay. <laughs> is it with... For Vapico also? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they okay. both work together on it. And they have those awesome metal card metal backs card, metal and card stuff. Back. So if you have been uh, a fan of those in the past, stay tuned for more on that. And we, Kill, get us a picture. We have the <laughs> others hanging on the wall here, so you should get them too. Yay. Um, Drill One is working on some custom life-size Darth Vader helmets. Oh. And we have some photos. You should be seeing them right now. We don't have a price. Okay. Um, so if you please inquire within. <laughs> within the show within, or within the booth within the at Comic Con? Booth, within the Excellent. booth or contact me via Instagram or something like that. And how? what is your name on Instagram? At Sarah Jo Marks. So easy. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, Bill McMullen. Never mind. Bill? <laughs> you know how it is with Bill. Do you know how it is with Bill? Sometimes. Do you know how it is with Bill? Bill? 
Do you know how it is with yourself, Bill? <laughs> Bill, do you know if you're here or not? Are you here, Bill? Bill? So, <laughs> like, the thing with this is, like, if he shows up and brings you something, you'll have it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so and we, if not, you won't. Right. Okay. If, if we might have something so bloody amazing that your brain will explode or not. <laughs> so, on top of all of this, there may be more. Yeah. But the drill helmets are dope. Um, he just posted a couple pictures on his Instagram. Dope drill. Yeah. They're really I'm excited. Awesome. This is a lot of stuff. You have so many things. That's let's all of it, our things. Let's pull it all back so people can see how many... I can't get a hold of the bottom. Look at this, you guys. This is what you could get at DKE if you have, like, a bajillion dollars. Spend all your money. That's amazing. Support local artists, or independent artists. Yeah, it's all independent stuff. That works. Thanks, artists, for oh, making stuff. There's a couple, like, what? Oh, I hate oh she always does this every year. She starts getting all like, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Sorry, sorry. I'll keep keep myself together. Well, that's it. So come by and see us at DKE, booth 5045. Um, I've been, I'll be posting this stuff on the blog. There's more pictures on the DKE Flickr. Um, every day on my Instagram, I'm reposting stuff that artists are working on and putting up our little ad things. And So you have all the information? Yeah. Plan what you need to buy? Be there preview night so you can buy it. As long as the stuff is here, we will sell it. So There's no timed releases. It's like... There's no timed releases. Jump in. I don't think we have any signings. We don't... It just come by, say hi, buy something, don't buy something. We're going to have it. Whatevs. Whatevs. We're going to have it. Awesome. And Dove will be there. Dove will be there. And Samuel and I may make a brief appearance at some time, but Maybe. we'll see. You Toddlers. may also just be in my booth hanging out with well, Samuel. Yeah. It could happen. We might yeah, come, <laughs> come over and see us at uh, October Toys. Or come to Legoland with us, because who right. can take a kid to Comic-Con all day? Yeah, they don't want to go to Comic-Con. Not that. I mean, not my kid. Not my little kid. Too small. Too small. We Too crushed short. a crushed a Comic Con. Too short. Crushed a Comic Con. That sounds like a book that needs to be written. Yeah. All right. So what else? What else? George, I'm exhausted from all the DKE. I mean, this oh. is, you want to just wrap it up? Is this it? Do we? Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty much the show. I think I think we filled them with information. Perhaps we could fill them with some event information. Looks like there's something. <laughs> How about Anime Expo at the Los Angeles Convention Center in Los Angeles, California, Los Angeles, July 2nd to Los Angeles, July 5th. Anime Expo, anime-expo.org. If you go, take a picture of Luke 2, taking a picture of all the cosplayers. Because that's what he'll be doing. He's going to be conned out. That's one weekend, Dude, that's one weekend away from you, Comic-Con. If you go to Anime Expo for like the weekend, yeah. so let's say you leave on Sunday... And then you're planning to come to Comic-Con, that's the following Wednesday. So you only have two-day break in between Crazy Anime Expo cosplay and then Hop boom, in your car Comic-Con. and drive down to San Diego. Crazy! And San Diego Comic-Con. Comic oh, yeah. and Popular Art Convention at San Diego Convention Center in San Diego, California, July 9th to the 12th, comic-con.org. Awesome. Come see us. Yay! That's it. Hang out with DKE. Hang out with October Toys. Say hi. We love that. Hello. You can also check the show notes at toybreak.com for links to all of this stuff on the DKE blog. You can watch past episodes. You can join the contests and discussions in the forum. You can support the show by clicking on the Amazon link before you do your Amazon shopping. We appreciate everybody who's been doing that. I do it all the time. You I do? just bought light bulbs. Oh. Oh, that was you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> So you can also call and leave us a voicemail, 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us, info at toybreak.com. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can find our toy briefs, toy girls, and full toy break episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. Easy to watch on every device, because it's on YouTube, you know? You can also subscribe to our new Brick Break channel, all about Lego and Lego-related things. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at toybreak. You can follow me at Eileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. At Sarah Jo Marks. Woohoo! And that's it. Do you remember when we used to think these were good? <laughs> like, look at that face. Is he smelling a fart? <laughs> like, that's terrible. Yeah, that's not the best face that I've ever seen. So are you saying this September 4th, <laughs> 4th day, we're going to get some better toys? 
I, I would imagine. It can't get worse than these. You was the fork. I th and you know that for Force Day, the Disney stores will now be open as well as like Toys R Us stores. I'm excited. At midnight. Disney stores. Don't you want to shop at a Disney store at midnight? I feel like we need to like go back to the East Coast and get it three hours before the West Coast. Oh. You guys do that. I'll be sleeping. <laughs> we could totally do that. Eric, oh Laura. Good night. Ready? I have to think about that. All right. We're going to go think about that. In the meantime, we will see you guys next week. Same toy time, same toy channel. Bye, everyone.